Here is Richard Dawkins, the atheist. <clears throat> He's doing a yoga mudra, the Uttara Bodhi mudra, telling me and you and everyone that he's extremely enlightened. He claims to be an atheist, cough, cough. I'm going to show you that he's not. He's lying to you. So is Ricky Gervais, the comedian, who's also a big atheist. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. He's not just randomly posing like that. He's doing a yoga mudra, the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, telling me and you and everyone that he is extremely enlightened. There, there, two atheists cough that are doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Here's Richard Dawkins looking at a monkey who's looking at a skull, pondering what? Creation? Evolution? I can't believe saying to people that the world and we were made just like it says in Genesis and throughout the Bible. It's true, and the world will mock and laugh at that, and they'll get angry about that because Richard Dawkins, the atheist, <laughs> he says something different. Here he is, right? He's a smart person. He's surrounded by books. He's really smart. God says in Scripture the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him. See, he's got atheists scraped, scraped onto his chest in blood. He's wearing a crown of thorns. Is he mocking Buddha here? No, he's mocking the true living God, Jesus Christ. Because he's an atheist, remember. Yes, that's Ricky Gervais, the atheist, cough, cough, who's doing the sign of success in this current fallen world. 666 on his hand. The atheist will go, he's just saying everything's A-OK. -okay. Richard Dawkins is doing one-eye symbolism. The eye of Horus, the eye of Providence, the eye of Ra. It's all just code for Satan. Ricky Gervais, crown of thorns, in a crucifix position with his microphone, his comedy microphone. And he quotes, with devil horns, by the way, There is no hell, but be nice anyways. This comes down to this life and your salvation, your faith, your everything. Are you going to listen to men who are atheists? Cough, cough. Do you see how they're not atheists? They're lying to us. They're lying to you. A lot of people don't believe in Satan. A lot of people don't believe in Jesus Christ. They're both real. Only one of them is true. Only one of them is the meaning of life to have faith in. I still can't understand people wanting to go that opposite direction, the left-hand path, whatever. Rejecting Jesus Christ living for themselves, the world, the flesh, for Satan, who hates them. Brothers and sisters, stay strong in the truth of Jesus Christ our Lord. The world indeed is biblical, and we've been lied to. Jesus Christ will not lie to us. He is the truth. Amen.